It's over 100 degrees outside today in Dallas, Texas, but not in Cruise Man's garage. Now I'm going to show you what I'm doing to keep my garage cooler in the summer. Hey everybody, Cruise Man here today. I'm going to talk to you about something a little different. Um, talk to you a little bit about keeping the garage cool. Now, as you know, I work in the garage almost year-round, and in Texas, it gets really, really hot here in the summer. Um, we get up around, I don't know, anywhere from 95 to 105 degrees uh, is not that uncommon. And we have pretty high humidity. It can be anywhere from 60% all the way up to 80, 85%. Just gets miserable and really hard to work in the garage. So. I've tried a couple of different solutions over the years to mitigate this heat issue. And recently, uh, I came across this Honeywell, uh, you can see it over here, this Honeywell portable refrigerated air conditioning unit. Now in the past, uh, you may have seen me review some evaporative coolers. Um, and those work really good, but they, they're more effective in a dry climate. When the humidity gets over 35, 40 uh, percent, they just don't, they're just not that effective. Uh, basically, they become a fan at that point. So what we really need is something that refrigerates the air and does some dehumidifying at the same time. So that's what this unit does. And I've been testing it out the last few days in Cruise Man's garage. And just to give you a little background, first of all, these units are not really designed for use in a garage. They're, they're really more for indoor use in an insulated room, uh, and they're designed to work as a, as a refrigerated unit, kind of instead of a window unit, because you can kind of move them around a little bit. So I'm really stretching the ability or the capabilities of a unit like this by putting it in a garage. Now, just to give you a little bit of background on my particular garage, it's about 420 square feet. And two of the walls are insulated because they're attached to the house, they're interior walls. But two of the walls, well one wall is a west facing wall that's not insulated, and the other wall is the garage door. Now I have put some insulation on the garage door which helps immensely. That metal garage door gets really hot in the afternoon, so that insulation helps a bunch. But the ceiling of the garage is not insulated. And I also have a very high ceiling. I've probably got a, maybe a 12-foot ceiling in here, so that adds to the issues that this air conditioner has to deal with. If I had a 9 or 10-foot ceiling, this unit would be much more uh, capable, should I say. However, this unit is doing a pretty nice job. In fact, today it's about 100 degrees outside and the little temperature reading on the unit is 80 degrees. So it's actually dropping the temperature down almost 20 degrees or about 20 degrees. Plus it's dehumidifying the air which makes it feel a little bit cooler. So let me go back and talk a little bit about this unit and what I like about it. Number one, it's pretty quiet. You know, I've got it running right now and I've got the fan on high. And even, you know, using audio with this video, uh, you can still hear me. You can hear the fan in the background, but it's not obtrusively loud. Uh, the other thing I like about is the compact size. It's much smaller and more compact than the evaporative units that I've tested previously. And you can roll it around a little bit. It's not quite as mobile as an evaporative unit because you do have the exhaust hose that you have to deal with. And it, of course, is connected, in this case, to a window. But you do have a little flexibility. You can move it around a little bit. So I like this unit. I think it's going to work out good for me. Now, I know when I say 80 degrees, that sounds hot. But 80 degrees is tolerable in the summertime. I did not expect this uh, air conditioner to get this garage down to 68 degrees or 72 degrees. I knew that I was stretching the capabilities of it uh, by bringing it in here into a garage that's not partially not insulated. Now I can insulate the ceiling and I probably will in the future and that should help quite a bit. I probably won't insulate this outside wall, but I may put some uh, 
film on the windows to help some, you know, keep some of the sun and the heat out that way. That should help also. But anyway, this unit is 14,000 BTUs. It's um, pretty quiet. It's got a lot of different modes. You can use it just as a fan. Uh, you can use it as an air conditioner. You can use it strictly as a dehumidifier. Or it even has some heating capabilities for the wintertime. One thing that's nice about it is very easy to unhook it from the window, roll it up for storage somewhere, put, maybe put a plastic bag over it just to keep it from getting scratched up or dirty. And uh, it's got a nice electronic uh, control panel on the front. It shows the current temperature in the room. and You can adjust the temperature that you want up or down very easily. It's all electronic, it's very nice, and it looks like it's very well made. It's also got a nice adjustable vent. You can raise or lower the vent. You can set it a little bit to the left or right. So you can kind of tailor it uh, to how you want it. So far, this is the best solution I've found for keeping the garage cool. Now, obviously, I could spend thousands of dollars you know, having an air conditioning company come out and vent the garage, put return air ducts in, get a bigger unit outside, you know, do all that. But that's just outrageous. This is the best unit I've found for a high humidity area. So I encourage you to check out this Honeywell portable air conditioner. I'll put all the information down below in the description. Now, if you like these videos, uh, make sure you subscribe to our channel and check us out on Instagram and Facebook. And don't forget, you can find me on the glforum.com as well. If you have any questions about this air conditioner or how I'm using it or how it works for me, check us out on Cruise Man's Garage. Thanks again.